so I picked up a budget build, uh, basically. Off of Amazon, I bought this HP 8300 8, Elite, whatever it's called. And it comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM on board. Um, a Core i5. Uh, 30 something, something, something. I'll put it up. I'll put it in the video or in the description. And it comes with nothing. No, uh, it comes with 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive, which is kind of slow, but whatever. It's a slim profile PC, so you need some slim profile graphics cards and some uh, possible workarounds for proprietary thingies. Uh, it has how many USB ports? It has a few 3.0s, 2.0s. It has a total of like, was it six on the back? I believe there's, yeah, four on the front. So, yeah, and stuff. And now we're going to open this up. It has, on board, it has, what is it, one HDMI out? No, does it have, it has display port out and VGA. And, yeah, so I'll just, I'll flip this over, if I can, a bit, so you can look at the back. And this is the back. These are all the ports. It is a refurb. Originally was shipped with um, Windows 7 Professional, I guess. That's what it says on the sticker on the back here that was originally on this, uh, the case. The uh, internals were cleaned out well. Everything was in good condition until I got a hold of it. No, I'm kidding. Um, I did, I put in a GTX uh, 1050 Ti uh, slim profile, low profile, whatever uh, car. So anyways, I took the, I put a GTX 1050 Ti in here. It's a low profile one, so it's. Low power consumption, blah, blah, blah. And that's how the back comes off. No screws. Um, so I actually had four gigabyte, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM in a drawer. I didn't even think about it until I got this and was like, wow, this could use a little more RAM because some games actually now require more than just eight gigabytes of RAM and they were stuttering in some of my games. So, I grabbed that 4 gigabytes of RAM, put it in, and that worked out perfectly fine. Everything is running really well, and that's great. It's all well and good. Um, so, we have this kind of, like a stacked thing going on here. Got the little slow hard drive, 500 gigabytes. I have two one terabyte hard drives, the externals that I have hooked up to here, which I'm putting my games on. I figured I could put some, uh, you know, not so intensive games on this hard drive. And I have the GTX 1050 Ti over here. Had to put the, uh, you have to put the, uh, the mount, the uh, low profile mounting bracket on there. So it comes with that. And because it was my birthday, uh, last week, last, uh, Saturday, um, I was able to ask people for Amazon gift cards to offset the price of the GPU, which if you know, GPUs today are not really, especially like NVIDIA GPUs are a little on the high price side, unless you really look around, but I was able to knock 50 bucks off of the GPU for that. So... That kind of brought me to about 300, a little over 300 for the whole build. Um, so yeah, uh, there's the, has a DVD. I'm sure it's fairly slow. I haven't even tried it out yet. I do use uh, these things for like ripping CDs every now and then and maybe some DVDs. Um, but not a lot, so it's okay. And, uh, what else? Uh, so far I've run, I've been playing some games on it, um, tried Call of Duty, um, World, yeah, World War II, and that runs, like, max settings, 1080p, 60fps, um, uh, I don't have any, I don't, my, 
I'm using a TV, and I don't have anything that goes over 60 FPS, so that doesn't matter to me. I'm perfectly fine with 1080p. 60 FPS, I do have a 4K TV as my monitor, but really don't notice much of a difference between 4K and 1080p. Um, and, yeah, so that's fine with me. Um... Then I, I played uh, Mortal Kombat X, and uh, also once I added this RAM, that, that really helped because that helped me bump up the graphics a lot more. So uh, I would recommend, if you can, to get 16 gigs of RAM for gaming. Even though, unless you're playing like old games and stuff, like a lot of games, these un unoptimized piles of shit are now requiring like 16 gigs of RAM. Um, so, you may want that. Um, so, yeah. I know i got to be forgetting something, other than I'm going to put a gameplay at the end of this, um, this video. I'm just going to put in... For now, I have something already recorded, but it only has... Um, ugh, got a hair in my mouth, sorry. It only has, like, frame rate show. It's only showing frame rate. I, for some reason, can't get, uh, uh, what's the face, Afterburner to show everything. I don't know why, but I will do more gameplay uh, later on on the, on the channel. With I'm going to try my hardest to get it to show everything, all the stats. Um, so, yeah, we, it does have, I think I mentioned it. I don't know if I did, but it has Windows 10 Professional on it now. Uh, it came... You know, I guess originally when it was brand new, it had Windows 7 Professional. And I guess there was a free upgrade to Windows 10, and they did that, and there's that. Damn hair in my mouth. It's killing me. Okay. That's not a hair. That's jizz. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, uh, so the whole, whole thing was about a little over uh, $300. Runs... I haven't tried emulators yet, but I'm sure those will run great. Um, you know, uh, the whole thing was, as I mentioned, $300. It runs games, newer games, like 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, I'm sure older games can run at 4K. Uh, the graphics card is capable of HDR, which, I mean, I, there's not a lot of games support that. I do have an HDR TV um, re that I recently got, but... <laughs> I don't know. I may try it. I may hook it up to my TV and try out the, the HDR. I only have one game, Call of Duty, that supports HDR. And I'll give it a shot. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it had, I just spit all over the place. It supports Shadowplay, HDR, Ansel, um, a few other things because of the NVIDIA card. So yeah, and I'm sure you could do a better job than me too uh, at uh, getting one of these probably. The uh, price of these computers tends to fluctuate like every day. Uh, I was looking at, I got it for 300 and then it went up to like, you know, nothing crazy, but it was like the 315 I mean 215 I got it for, bleh, I got this for 200 but it went up to like 215 then it went to 210 and 209 208 you know, a little, little that kind of thing. But uh, you may be able to find something similar, similarly specced, but with a better price tag. I was, my last computer died on me, so I was kind of in a rush to get a computer. And I figured I'd just use my birthday a little bit to, uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, offset the price. I think I'm going to die. So uh, I'm going to end it here and show some gameplay. So thank you for watching. He's leaving cover. Package observed. Stop their resupply. <laughs> Recon searching for targets. Enemy. Re
Recon aircraft observed. Counterintelligence airborne. Recon airborne. Recon aircraft observed. Need cover and fire. They're on the balcony. Bomb. 